Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, with the assistance of our main man Jay Hutch from Food Fanatic TV on YouTube, we're going to be making for you a challah bread French toast recipe right after this. All right, so hey, what's going on, everybody? This is uh, Chef Carl from Cooking and Grilling with Carl. And in this video, I got my man, Jay Hutch, with me. He's gonna be helping me make some um, French toast from scratch. So let me go over the ingredients real quick. So right here, I got some challah bread, all right? Right here, I got a little bit of ginger, some nutmeg, some ground cinnamon, some vanilla bean paste, salt, oil for cooking the French toast, a little bit of butter for cooking the French toast, I got some eggs to make the uh, French toast custard, some half and half, some uh, maple syrup, local maple, maple syrup, and some granulated sugar. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is, John, I'm gonna have you crack the eggs into this bowl. All right. Say what's up to everybody, man. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm so focused on the work right now because I'm getting to work with uh, Chef Carl here. I'm trying to get everything knocked out so we can make this beautiful, beautiful French toast around here. All right, so what I'm going to do is while he's doing that, I'm going to cut the bread. So you can cut them as thick or as thin as you like them. I'm going to do probably like, like one inch thick slices. Right. So now what you want to do, pour about a third of that in there. So now he's going in with the eggs a little bit more. There we go. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put my seasonings in. So I'm gonna go in with uh, about a teaspoon of uh, fresh ginger, I mean of uh, grated ginger. You don't need a lot of this, just a pinch. Going in with a little bit of um, nutmeg. We're going in with about a half a tablespoon. All right, so now I'm going in with uh, some cinnamon. And for the nutmeg and the cinnamon, you wanna do like a three to one ratio. All right, so you wanna do about a, uh, a ratio of uh, three to one cinnamon to nutmeg. So I'm going in with a lot more cinnamon. About a full tablespoon. Now, Chef Carl, is this a like a recipe that you came up with on your own? Something that you just do normally? No, nah, really, it's a standard um, French toast recipe. Um, there's a couple things I'm adding. I've, I've actually never used vanilla bean paste, but this is what they had at Trader Joe's. But vanilla bean is where vanilla extract comes from, so this has to be good. You understand? All right, and I'm using fresh maple syrup, fresh local maple syrup. I also put a, a pinch of uh, salt in mine because um, when you add salt to a little to something that's sweet, it kind of enhances the sweetness. Okay. That's why you have a lot of people doing like salted caramel ice cream and all that stuff like that. All right, I already had the cinnamon. I already got the nutmeg in there. Now I'm going in with this, the vanilla bean paste. See what this smells like. Oh yeah, that's potent right there. That's potent. So I'm not sure about how much, but I'm gonna try this for now. Yeah, that smells really, really good. That's gonna, <clears throat> that's gonna give it a really strong vanilla type flavor with that right there. Right, I mean, so that's, that's tighter than vanilla extract. I'm gonna have you mix that up. I'll finish cutting the rest of my uh, hollow bread. Yeah, look at that there. This has a really strong, sweet smell. 
So I can imagine when it gets in that bread, how it's gonna taste. I'm already anticipating it. All right, I'm gonna go in with a couple tablespoons of uh, granulated sugar. Going with a little bit of maple syrup. Mm. That's looking good, looking good. And using syrup in the batter, that's a little trick that we do in um, restaurants. So um, that's how I make it at home as well, and, and it's always been good. All right, so you just want to make sure all the yolks and everything are broken up. Yeah, everything's broken down. That smells good right there. All right, so now I'm gonna go in my pan with a little bit of oil. Now I'm gonna go in here with the um, with the bread, and I'm gonna make sure that it kind of absorbs a lot of that custard. And also, y'all. You can use this same type of custard to make bread pudding. You can just dump a bunch of bread in here, let it absorb it all up, put it in a, a casserole dish, and then bake it. And then you have bread pudding as well. Yeah, this is good bread for that too. I never used this bread before for uh, French toast. So I went in with oil first, and now I'm going with some butter. The oil is going to keep the butter from burning. All right, so once you hear that sound, you know your oil is hot enough. So I'm going in with the widest side down. Get one more in there. I'm looking to get a nice little crust around the edges. All right, so I'm almost there. And the main thing you want to do is make sure that your French toast isn't sticking. So that's why you want to make sure your oil is at the right temperature and your butter is nice and melted before you go in there Get your French toast. For the worst thing that can happen Last thing you want is your French toast sticking to the pan. Because if your French toast sticks, it's then when you when you take it out, it's just gonna pull that crust off. All right, so I'm getting ready to start flipping everything. All right, so that's what you want. That's the look that you want, nice little crust. It'll be a little darker, a little bit lighter, but as long as you got, you know, a little bit of brown and everything, that's what you want. And you can also sprinkle a little cinnamon sugar over the top too. That'll give it a little bit more of a crust or a little bit of, you know, more of a crunchier texture if you want to, but I, I kind of like mine soft. <laughs> yeah, that definitely looks good right there. 
never used that bread before. So at this point, the recipe is totally done. Hollow bread French toast recipe. All right, I just want to give a special shout out to Trevor Pope for helping us to shoot this video. And right now, I'm getting ready to show you a little footage of Jay Hutch from Food Fanatic TV giving a taste test of the French toast. So what do you think, man? About to taste it. Yeah, I'm about to taste it. Sous Chef Jay Hutch. You know how I do. Here we go. Gotta lick my lips. <laughs> Here you go. It's not my fault You've been lying saying that I took away your peace Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me Like you Alright y'all, mm. Sue Chef Jay Hutch You feeling it? Yeah, I love it, I All love right. it Definitely give this recipe a try Okay, so thanks for checking out this recipe uh, Hollow bread French toast all right, and I just want to give a special shout out to uh, Jay Hutch from Food Fanatic TV for helping me to make this recipe. Also, the Trevor Pope for helping us to shoot the video. The links to their channels will be in the description below. And on that note, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to the channel. It definitely helps to support the channel. And also catch me on um, social media, Cooking and Grilling with Carl. On that note, I say God bless. Also, if you want to see another one of my videos, you can click right here on this video right here. All right, I'll catch you on the next video. God bless, peace.